So, we are a matter of days away for seeing the release of the 16 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 Pro and an M3 Max put inside of it and the exciting news is the new GPU will be a ray tracing GPU and it could have up to 40 cores inside of it. So I want to give you all the details about this and of course the 16 inch MacBook Pro release date and price too. So as we know now the M2 journey is basically at an end. Most devices are expected to get an M2 to M2 Ultra have been all rolled out now. WWDC 2023 showed us Apple rolling out the last chipset what was the M2 Ultra. It has also been over 9 months since the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros got the M2 Pro and the M2 Max because they were delayed in getting this chipset as they were meant to get these around about November last year. These chipsets though, they've provided about a 20 to 30% more power than the M1 Pro and the M1 Max for CPU, GPU, and we also got about 40% faster for machine learning neural engine speeds too. Looking towards the next generation of the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, we've been told the design is not going to change, but the biggest change of all is going to be that new M3 Pro and that M3 Max chipset, and they're just around the corner. So I said something similar about the 14 inch MacBook Pro that this is the last video I'm going to be making about the 16 inch MacBook Pro today. So I'm going to give you as much details as I can and the main change obviously is all about the chipset. So I covered about M3 Pro and the 14 inch MacBook Pro so if you want to know more information about the M3 Pro specifically check out that video. But today let's talk about the M3 Max and that obviously will be available in the 14 and the 16 inch MacBook Pro. What we're talking about today. So over the last few months we've had multiple reports come in. One report that first came in was that the brand new M3 Max is going to be getting a total of 36 GPU cores and we could also see 16 CPU cores inside of it. What's absolutely incredible and it's going to be really, really amazing to see the performance coming out of this. However, we have had another report in, as you can see here, what actually says not 36 cores, but we could actually go all the way up to 40 GPU cores and obviously we probably will get ray tracing abilities and things like this because we got this in the A17 Pro 2. I will talk more about cores being assigned to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max in the spec sheet a bit later on. However, we can probably expect around about a 100% increase in power on the M3 Pro to the M1 Pro and also a 100% increase in power of the M3 Max to the M1 Max that only came out 18 months ago. When you think about this, this is incredible that when these chipsets are released, that this will just be over two years between them and we will have chipsets that are basically double the speed. So this is really exciting as the M2 chipsets over the M1 gave us around about 20 to 40% increases instead. This is also really exciting news and it means that most likely if you still on an old Intel MacBook, definitely upgrading to an M3 Pro and M3 Max is definitely going to be worth it this time. Even if you actually have say just a normal M1 chipset and you're looking to step into that Pro territory, also the upgrade is going to be great for you too. However, I will also say at this point that not all leaks and reports are 100% proof they'll be coming true in the new MacBooks. As I've said in loads of other videos too, I can only present to you what I've been told and shown like what you've seen here today. However, if you are watching this video still, then you're as curious as I am in knowing what's going to be said about the new MacBooks anyway, no matter if they come true or not. So moving on to the actual release date. So the release date is literally around the corner or the actual launch event. We've had a report here or we've actually had from Apple themselves that the scary fast event is happening next week, October 30th, and it's going to be happening at 5 p.m. Pacific time. And it's really exciting because it looks like it's definitely going to be focused all about Macs. And we may also see the normal M3 Pro, MacBook Pro, and also an iMac 2, but definitely the 14 and 
16 inch MacBook Pros and we will get those upgrades to the M3 Pro and the M3 Max, what is really, really exciting indeed. The actual launch itself of when we'll be able to get our hands on it might be just on that Friday later on that week, so that's November the 4th, or it could be a week later after the event or so, so we're talking maybe about November the 8th or around about that sort of time, so it won't be long at all until you get your hands actually on these brand new devices. I quickly want to talk to you about the giveaway we're having on this channel right now, and it is for this. It is for an iPhone 15 Pro Max, and I'm going to be giving this away to one lucky viewer around the time of end of December to early January time. So that week between Christmas and New Year, I'm going to be doing a live giveaway stream revealing who the winner is for this iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's really easy to enter in. All you have to do is leave a comment in this video here or any other videos coming up in the future telling me of what tech you're planning to buy in the remainder of 2023 or maybe into 2024. If this is Apple gear, Samsung gear, whatever gear, I'd love to know. Put it down in the comments below. And also at the same time, if you want to know when that live stream is going to be happening, make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell because you'll want to get some notification of when that is actually happening. Because to be honest, December is not that far away. And I will just quickly say, guys, sadly, there are still spammers and scammers out there. Some of them still impersonating myself, telling you to part with money for shipping and things like this. This is not me at all. I'll be paying for shipping on this international giveaway so that means anyone can enter in in the world and I'll be paying for taxes and things like that too. So you don't need to worry about any of that at all. But if you do see any of these scammers or anything, please do report them as you can see right here. So next of all, let's now talk about the actual price and let's also talk about the specs that we're expected to see in the 14 inch MacBook Pro. So what I will say here, what I said about the 14 inch MacBook Pro, the main thing is, is the chipset what is changing with this MacBook and really not many other features will be changing. We will still be getting that 16.2 XDR liquid retina mini LED display will be a pro motion display with a resolution of 3456 by 2234. We will still have the options of 512 gigabytes going all the way up to eight terabytes there again we will have the m3 pro and also the m3 max with 12 or 14 cores and we could also have to see the possibilities with the actual gpu core being anywhere from 19 to 44 cores for that for ram amounts it could be still sticking around 16 gigabytes it could even start at 24 gigabytes but there's been a bit of a debate by that but it could go all the way up to 96 gigabytes of ram this time we're still going to get aluminum body or an aluminium body and then the ports are still going to be exactly the same magsafe three usb c thunderbolt four ports hdmi 2.1 and also the sd card slot we will still get that center stage webcam at 1080p and battery life is most likely going to stay around the same at 22 hours and then based on the m2 pro on the 16 inch model here with the lowest cpu and gpu and 16 gigabytes of ram and 512 gigabytes of storage will come in at 2499 dollars still and there we have it guys so the new 16 inch macbook pro coming out less than a year later than the last model is really really exciting news to hear we've got a three nanometer chipset and then also the upgrades in performance it's going to be a really really great year ahead for the m3 pro and the m3 max and also they're going to feature in both of this 14 and 16 inch model but also on that note as well guys it's time to wrap up this video so if you have enjoyed watching it please do press the like button and also if you Want to hear the latest apple news reviews and comparisons please also make sure you subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell until next time guys i'll see you really soon take care bye bye